Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at single phase half bridge inverter. So let's get started. Fundamentally, we know that inverters are circuits that are used to convert DC to AC. So what is a half bridge inverter circuit? So basically, to understand this, we need to take a look at the operation. So at the first place, if you carefully observe, you have a three wire DC power supply. So that's why you have distributed this as Vs by 2, Vs by 2. But practically what we will do is we will use a normal DC power supply and use two capacitors with equal value to get this Vs by 2 voltage. But this is in an ideal scenario to give you a clear explanation. So I'm going to keep things as simple as possible over here. We're going to consider a resistive load throughout to understand the operation. Now what happens during two different time periods? So let's say this, this is circuit number one. Let's call this circuit number one and let's call this circuit number two, right? So during the operation of circuit number one, that is, I'll be calling this as zero less than T, less than T by two. And circuit number two operation, I will be calling it as between T by two, less than T, less than capital T. What is T? T is the time period and T is nothing but reciprocal of frequency. T is equal to 1 by F, isn't it? So the rate at which you want to control the switching is what you're associating it with T. And small t is the total time that is going to be taken care with respect to the circuit. So now what we will do is, during 0 to T by 2, what we will do, we will turn on thyristor S1. Basically, we will be giving a firing pulse to S1. So what happens is, the current starts flowing from this direction, through this path, through this path, let us call this as A and let us call this as B. So the current flows through this path. So in this case, plus will be here and minus will be here. Considering the direction, I'm going to con connect or consider this as a convention. So the output voltage will be equal to Vs by 2 plus Vs by 2, isn't it? So S2 is acting as open circuit because I am not going to energize that. That is basically I'm not going to give a gate pulse to it. As a result, the current flow will be only through this path. So you're getting Vs by 2 as the output voltage during this interval of time. Now from T by 2 to T, right? So what I will be doing is I will turn off S1 and turn on S2. So this should be done in such a way that both should not be conducting at any point of time at the same time. If that happens, this will be a short circuit, isn't it? So I'll be turning off S1, which was conducting previously and turn on S2. As a result, it is acting as short circuit. Over here, what will happen again, current will start flowing through this path. It will flow through this path. It will flow through this path and return over here. So now the direction of current, it is in this orientation, isn't it? So plus minus with respect to A and B. So our load A with respect to B, if we consider what will be the output voltage, it is minus Vs by 2, isn't it? Because you are having minus over here and plus over here. You are always measuring the output voltage from A to B, from A to B. That is why you were getting Vs by 2 here and minus Vs by 2 here. I hope this point is clear. So now, how are we saying that this is actually an inverter, right? You might be having that question. So. Let us consider the gate pulses. That is, we are going to trigger switch one and switch two at these, these instance. I'm going to extrapolate these two. So what will be the output voltage? So basically you were getting output voltage to be equal to Vs by two over here, isn't it? That is during zero to T by two. This is up to the point where T by two is available. And this is the total time T. So from zero to T by two gate one, that is basically for switch S1, you are giving the gate pulse. As a result, you're getting Vs by two over here. During the next from T by two to T, what was happening? The output voltage is going in the negative direction. That is minus Vs by two. So you're getting minus Vs by two over here. So the direction is reversed. Again, during the next cycle, what is happening? You'll be getting Vs by two because again, I'll be turning on S1 and the cycle repeats. So basically you're getting a waveform which is like a square AC waveform, isn't it? So this is where you call, this is also an AC waveform, so don't get confused. So this is AC waveform, you had a DC power supply, you're converting into AC, only thing is it is a square wave, right? 
this is a square wave so these inverters are called as square wave inverters now throughout the operation you might be having a doubt why did i consider d1 and d2 in the circuit and did not explain it during the operation since it's a resistive load you don't have any purpose of d1 and d2 but in case of a inductive load also in that consideration you will have to use both d1 and d2 that is where d1 and d2 will be playing an important role which i will be explaining in my upcoming videos when we are looking the operation with respect to rl load i hope this video gave you a clear understanding of how a single phase half bridge inverter works in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching stay